All right, guys, the road so far. We shall read it through all of these that we have not read yet. There are a lot. Hallelujah, this is a good place. Mikado's amazing. The air tastes so clean in the sun. I mean, I caught a glimpse when Shesa burst through the ceiling, but I never thought it'd be so bright and warm. If I knew this is what it was like outside the dome, I'd have done all I could to get out there. I guess I understand how those hunters who tried to get above the ceiling felt. Hang on a sec. It's so bright. I got roasted by po Python, I did. It's so bright, the clean air is nice and the cool winds, but I'm still getting used to all the light. I should try meditating up here. Oh yeah, it's a bit far, but I hear there's an actual lake just outside the castle. Would you like to go see it with me, master? Navar, I've returned. <laughs> I imitated this thummy thing you all do. Did you receive this? If so, I just wanted to say that I never thought I'd return to Eastern Kingdom of Mikado. As a refugee, I'd hoped to never set foot up on the ceiling again. I suppose I had no choice, however. You'd be lost without me, after all. Now then, let's hurry along and unearth the information you need so that we can return to Tokyo. Go forth, my student! Asahi, too much is happening. So much has happened! The most surprising thing is finding out that Hallelujah is half-demon. All this time, he acted like he couldn't fight, and now he's hurling magic left and right. Gaston, I'm hopeless. I've lost everything. The Crusaders have been disbanded, and I've been stripped of my rank, and now no one will follow me. All that remains is the mighty spear bestowed upon me by Lord Merkaba. If no one recognizes my magnificence, I might as well be dead. But not you. You relied on me to escape the prison cell, and when we fled using the terminal. That's why I've decided to stay with you. There's no place for me in the Eastern Kingdom Mikado. I'm no different than my cowardly brother. I suppose we really are alike. I thought Toki said it sounded familiar. The voice actress is also in Trails of Cold Steel. Yeah, she does a lot of stuff, actually. Nozomi, it's finally setting. The ceasefire is over and Armageddon's begun. I guess it had to happen sooner or later. I can't side with the angels the or the demons, but I, I must walk my own path for the fairies. But I can't force that same decision on anyone else. I won't hesitate to give you my two cents, but at the end of the day, you have to make your own decision. Whether you want to listen to me is entirely up to you. But I trust you. I'm sure you'll leave it us to freedom. Just believe in yourself and follow your heart. Sorry, this turned into another lecture. I'm sure you won't have to think too hard about it. Where I want to be. I want to be- I want to fight alongside you guys. I want to be with you, leader. But something's still holding me back. I respect Abe, but I have an obligation to the Ashurakai. <clears throat> but I have the feeling I'm going to wind up standing against Burrow someday. And before that day comes, I need to be ready my- uh, do need to ready myself. I'm indebted to the commander. I'm relieved to see you again. I feared the worst after our capture in the Eastern Kingdom of Mikado. After you were thrown in prison, Commander Hope questioned me elsewhere. I should say Commander Hope is the head of the Samurai Order. Eventually, he arranged to have serious charges dismissed and allowed me to accompany the other samurai dispatched to Tokyo. That is how I was able to reunite with you. I'm indebted to the commander. When next I see him, I must give him my thanks. Perhaps if the opportunity presents itself, I can introduce the two of you. I suspect you would see eye to eye. What are you going to do? Uh, this was back in the, uh, when, uh, this, we're going through time, so this is, uh, just after when we went to Mikado. This is turning into quite the spectacle. So this is what unbridled war between the angels and demons is like. What do you intend to do? Will you side with the angels or the demons? Perchance neither? Regardless, war is unavoidable now. Flynn and Isabeau are my fellow samurai. But so, too, are Jonathan and Walter, er, Merkaba and Lucifer. I, rather, I would rather there be no quarreling between samurai. Alas, were that only possible. Oh, I got you. I got you, what you're saying, then. I suppose the only available, only course available to me is to walk my own path. I have faith in you, Stilashi. We did it! That was one hell of a day, but we got through it. Now that Merkaba and Lucifer are gone, the fairies can finally live in peace. Oh yeah, the Hunter Association is throwing a big party to celebrate. I hear there'll be a keg and everything. 
Don't ask me where they got it, but it sure sounds like fun. Oh, I guess you're all underage, huh? Well, maybe we can find you some non-alcoholic champagne or something. You guys even know what a keg is? Anyway, let's let loose and have some fun! Koki, together with you. It's over. Merkaba, Lucifer, and the Divine Powers are all gone. There's no one left to stop on step on humanity. Have you decided what's next for you? Will you continue working as a hunter? If so, would you let me join you? I've always wanted to become stronger, and ever since meeting you, that was something changed. I don't know what that is yet. I wanted to stay with you so I could find out. Is that okay? Isabeau, now it's over. It feels like a lifetime since uh, we've started fighting, and yet now Armageddon is finally over. In this new piece, Tokyo and the Eastern Kingdom of Mikado will work together to restore the city. As for me, I can finally continue reading my manga without distraction or interruption. I've heard whispers that an 11th volume exists somewhere in Tokyo. I must investigate this rumor at once. Could that green thing be impossible? I felt so invigorated ever since snapping the spear of Michael in twain. I suppose you might say that victory restored some of my former vitality. I have, however, started seeing great, strange things. This green entity that hovers about you like a great deal like... looks a great deal like... But that sounds like... but no, it cannot be. It sounds... it's simply impossible. Ugh, apologies. Please allow me some time to compose my thoughts. This is kind of embarrassing. I can't believe I did that. I can't believe I declared myself the new leader of the Ashurakai. I'm so embarrassed. After I left you, things got pretty crazy. Some of the higher-ups were pissed. They swore me, saying that if I wanted to be the official leader of the Ashurakai, I needed to do this and that, that and that and this. I spent hours going through a whole mess of boring paperwork. But now I've officially replaced Abe, and things are starting to settle down again. Though I had to fl uh, flex some half-demon muscle to get that to happen. It gives me a headache just thinking about all the stuff I still gotta do, but, well, I gotta do it. That's my boy! Well done, my boy. You will not only save the East, uh, the Tokyo, but the Eastern Kingdom of Mikado as well. No doubt your victory was assured because I accompanied you. <laughs> Sometimes I impress even myself, but I must admit, you did fight hard. So long as we're together, nothing can stand in our way. Let us go forth then, my stu- no, my partner. Asahi, celebration. They're throwing a party! I can't wait! I've never gone to a big bash like this before. Should I just wear what I usually wear? Should I put on makeup again? I bet there's gonna be a ton of food. Maybe I should bring a box to take some back with me. Oh my god, I'm just so excited. I'm sure there's lots more fun in store for us. If only uh, to make up for all the pain we suffered to get here. Oh, it'll be you and me forever, Nanashi. Yeah, she was so excited to be eat uh, to eat that she uh, didn't realize she was gonna be the meal. The meal. Isabel, I cannot forgive them. Deceiving us all with an imposter posing as Flynn, the divine powers depravities know no bounds. I still can't believe what they did to Asahi. I vow, here and now, to avenge her. Gungnir, not bad. Odin's spear Gungnir is rather impressive. Not quite as spectacular as the spear of Michael, mind you, but in its own way, quite ways, quite a weapon. Sharper for one, and it it appears to be enchanted. I believe it can pierce through any enemy barriers. I'm one step closer to reclaiming my magnificence. <laughs> She's been in Toki this whole time? I can't believe Inanna has been lurking inside of Toki this whole time. I guess she clung on to Toki's exposure to the ether, slowly regaining strength. This is all my fault. I should have noticed something sooner. But there's no point living in the past. We need to push on and figure out what to do about Inanna. I gotta make up for letting this get by me. Alright, so we're finally in the cosmic egg. You don't mind when we're alone? My memory's a little fuzzy, but I have a grasp on most of what's happened. I guess I caused a lot of trouble for you, I'm sorry. I didn't know Inanna had changed me. If you could just forget about how I've been acting, I'd appreciate it. Though, I don't think my behavior as of late was entirely caused by Inanna. Do you... would you mind if I still called you Master when we're alone? <laughs> Nozomi, Inanna's thoughts. Now that Don has absorbed Inanna, I can feel her thoughts inside of me. She just wanted something she'd lost, not just her power. She thinks of everything, everyone, as her children, and thought that we were taking it all away from her in our actions. That doesn't mean I think it was wrong to stop her. She needed to let go. If I still let my mother run my life, I wouldn't be able to be Fairy Queen. I, uh, hallelujah. I know it's late, but sorry for bothering you so late with this, but it's been bugging me. And if I don't ask now, I'll regret it. So, do you have any idea what Mitra was talking about? Gaston and Toki seem to get it, but I don't want to ask Gaston because he'll probably make fun of me. And I'm embarrassed to ask Toki because she's younger than me. So, do you know? That dude talks like some of the, uh, like someone from a shitty anime or something. Navar, I believe in you. If you're reading this, then you've already come to a decision regarding Dagda's offer. I don't know what you'll choose, but it's not my place to 
give my ghostly thoughts on the matter, but all the same, just know that we believe in you, all of us. I truly believe, want to believe you walk the same path we do. When did Navarre have time to send out this text message? Sends a message to you after Asuka was killed and was like, well, she's out of the way, huh? I mean, she, Toki does say something like that at uh, one point in the story. I'm back! I can't believe I'm back! It feels so strange! I'm suddenly so aware of all the things I took for granted before. But leaping in and taking that hit for you? I was pretty badass, wasn't I? I mean, it would have been cooler if I hadn't died and made everyone sad, but, well, I'm okay now! I believed in you. From the moment I laid the eyes on you in Kinshicho, I knew you were someone special. Someone who could do anything they put their mind to indeed. And now with Asi back among us, things are starting to look up all around. Diligent Fairy Queen. I've been dropping by the fairy forest this past few days, making sure I don't slack in my fairy queen responsibilities. You know the big giant cherry blossom tree? The divine powers really did a number on it. I thought maybe I could use my new powers from, from Inanna to heal it, but no, no such luck. Sometimes reality's a bitch. I'll just keep trying a little uh, every day. Maybe I can heal it little by little. Once I get it on the mend, we can all hang out and watch the flowers fall. Can't wait. This isn't what I had in mind at all. Running the Shurikai is a tough job. Clearing wreckage, building temporary housing, establishing infrastructure, scheduling budgets, negotiations with Mikado. The list goes on and on. Of course, it's not like I'm doing all that alone, but I still need to approve every aspect of our operation, not to mention handle inspections and deal with people. Honestly, the gig's a lot different than I'd imagine. But I'm not complaining. Sure, it's a pain sometimes, but it feels good to do something meaningful. Something that helps people, instead of just fighting angels and demons all the time. It's not my brother's grave. I returned to the Eastern Kingdom of Akata to build a proper grave for my brother. It's odd being able to see him as a ghost, and stranger still to dig a grave for the one I can still speak with, but I think it's brought some peace of mind to my mother and father. Mask shopping. I've decided to get a new mask. There's nothing wrong with my old one, it's just not very cute. I've tried a few different ones now, but none really feel right, right to me. Maybe you could come with me and help me pick out a new one? Yes. Lynn and I toured Tokyo together. The restoration is going quite well, and the people are starting to seem more helpful. It's already much different than when I first came here. This is, of course, all thanks to you. Stivashi, all of us, Flynn, the people of Tokyo, the people of Mikado, we are all in your debt. Thank you. Trying out being a bartender. Running a hunter association is harder than I thought. I had no idea how much responsibility Dad had. If I'd known how much work was involved, I wouldn't have acted the way I did with him. Still, I feel like I'm getting to know him better doing this. It's hard work, but I'm happy. I even started learning how to be a bartender. It's not that bad. None of this means I won't be working as a hunter with you tonight, Nanashi. Navar, I'm looking I'm going to look for a hobby. You all seem to be so active of late. It seems like you've really taken my teachings to heart. I fear I might be the only one standing still. Perhaps I should find a hobby for myself, since I'm a ghost. I suppose I could take to haunting people. Though no one would be able to they spelled wood wrong. Would be able to see me, would they? I guess technically he probably typoed. Why don't you find a little a fitting hobby for me? I'm counting on you, my top pupil. Alright, there you go. Not the most exciting thing I know, but... We had to read. <laughs> I'm gonna... On a trip to the Eastern Kingdom of Kanosun. You've all been there before, right? If you have any recommendations, let me know. Yes, my recommendation? Don't shit your pants. The Eastern people in the Eastern Kingdom of Kanosun, they'll smell it and either salivate or kick you in. It's strange to see the samurai and Ashikurai working together. My son wants to help. I hope he doesn't get in the way. Hey. You and Flynn are really amazing. I'll be like you one day. I even started helping with the rebuilding. I wonder if I've grown some biceps now. You had to experience the lore. Hello. Hunters and samurai from Mikado are working together to rebuild Tokyo. <laughs> I'm thinking of helping out, too. My wife will notice how much stronger I am now. Hello. I feel really good today, so this is what peace feels like. Before it was a little suffocating, like too much makeup. I like how that man has all of this going on, and he's thinking about helping. A lot of bad things have happened, but it's over. I believe that the days from now on will be filled with hope. Hey, so all the trouble's over, right? And the samurai are pretty nice? I should marry one of them. Reconstruction's going well. 
I hope we can create a new world for everyone. <laughs> you gonna fill your dad's job, Asahi? Everyone's looking forward to it. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, good. Is that person also? No. Uh, earlier in the game, she was known as heavily made up woman, and now she's lightly made up woman. She seems to really, really, really want to interfere with uh, Bailey's stuff. Hello. Here we fixed the relics at the hundred bring back. <laughs> we can finally fix things now because we're getting new parts. All right. The samurai from the Eastern Kingdom of Makoto are bringing us new materials. There's a lot of stuff that looks old and dated, but I'm glad my boss looks happy. <laughs> You're gonna headcanon, and that's the reason for the change is because of my Asahi's makeup. It probably is. She probably saw it and was like, that's what I've been looking like? Uh, we gotta, we gotta make a change. I always thought Akira was a traitor. Who knew this was his plan all along? I've lived long enough to see humans fight for their own future. I'm grateful for that now. The samurai from the Eastern Kingdom Mikado are gentlemen, just like Flynn. I wish the guys from the Ashura Kai would learn something from them. Well, the Ashura Kai are basically the uh, the gangsters from before. Yes. Samurai sure do dress strangely. The reconstruction of Tokyo is going well, I hear. I wonder if we'll actually find peace this time. I wish my hunter were here to see this with me. Nah, he dead. He wasn't killed by Shaysha. He was actually just fl flat out killed. So yeah, he wouldn't be back. Wait, ran past the terminal. We're going to Ginza. Activating transport complete. Pick up this pile of garbage. <laughs> Whoa, not on top a bit there. Been so busy helping to rebuild Tokyo. He just goes back to sleep. Uh, Random aside, that girl Toki, the one raised by the two women, uh, women, uh, old women running the weird guy, she seems different now, huh? doesn't she? Maybe it's just me. Yeah. The Shurikai and the Ringer guy are working together to keep Tokyo <laughs> safe. This would never have come to be if Tayama and Yuriko were still around. Hello. People who were once bitter enemies are now working together to restart Tokyo. Maybe prices will go down in those luxury stores. Probably not, though. He's been too busy being a piece of shit. It's true. So that Rak Rakasha was gone. Is, uh... Can I carry you? Oh, he's back now. I'm back! Now that things have settled down a bit. That was a real string of messes we had there for a while. Armageddon, the cosmic egg, and all that. You really took care of business. Hopefully, we can work the rest out. Living a guy in the Ashurakai walking together to rebuild Tokyo. Never thought I'd see the day. <laughs> Even that pig was a, a soulless husk in the last episode. <sighs> if ladies Mi and K wish Tokyo to be rebuilt, we shall obey. But who would have imagined we'd cooperate with the Ashurakai and Samurai to accomplish this? Everyone is working together to help rebuild the city. Why, just days ago, this would have been nice. unthinkable. This is the future I'd always hoped for. Yo. Where it is, some of the samurai want to become citizens <laughs> of Tokyo. Seems rude to even have to talk about it. They already fit right in. All right, let's go uh, to the Stone in Ginza and find out exactly what's in store for us. So. If I'm right, I think I've read about this place uh, a long time ago. It might be the only real thing I knew about this game. You approach the rock, a large group of people arise behind you. Just like Flynn said. Huh. Yeah. 
seems we're just in time. Lynn steps out from among the hunters. You really plan on fighting him, huh? Lynn, why are you here? Same as all of you. I met Steven in my dreams. I'm coming with you. I want to be there in case things go wrong. Lynn joins your party. How's that? Lynn supporting us? Get out of town! <laughs> with two saviors on our side, none shall stand in our way. We're here to help, too! We owe you so much. We might be light on manpower, but we'll support you any way we can. Manpower! They survived, even into the apocalypse. You are moved by the hunter's kindness. It looks like everyone made it. Steven appears, seemingly from nowhere. I will now guide you to Yuri's universe. Offer the nine pillars you gathered in the cosmic egg to the stone. You offer up the nine pillars to Masakado Stone. The nine pillars shine and are absorbed one by one into the stone. Stone transforms into a sleep black tablet. Its presence is overwhelming. Stephen points to the tablet. It has no name, so I will call it a monolith. The monolith is connected to the universe. You'll be able to travel there simply by touching it. The universe will surely have its own perils. Make sure you're prepared now. Are you ready? Sure. I look forward to seeing what happens next. The model transports you to Jehovah's Universe. This place is more vague and more infinite than any place you've ever been. So this is where the lives. You know, not sure what I was expecting. Hmm. You've got something shiny there. What is that? Akira's gauntlet is glowing. The gauntlet is transmitting data to your smartphones. You obtain two of each. Uh, two of each of light grimoire and heavy grimoire. Even that gauntlet's got our back. Hey, hey level up. Going. Anything could happen here. Don't let your guard down. I'll do my best to protect you. Messiah Blast. Flynn and the protagonist can team up to unleash a powerful skill called the Ma called Messiah Blast. In Jehovah's Universe, Flynn will support the protagonist in various ways. Enemy removal. When Flynn sees an enemy, he will run up and defeat it. Uh, Flynn will collect mock on items from the enemies he defeats. Speak with him to receive anything he collected. Disabling chats. Flynn will free the protagonist from any traps he gets caught in. If Flynn is fighting a different enemy, the Flynn option won't be available during combat. After several turns, Flynn will rejoin you. When he does, the Messiah Blast option will be available again. Lead the way, Nanashi. Okay. Messiah Blast. I'm gonna put my other outfit back on though. Jehovah's Universe. Okay, so if I'm right, this is what I was thinking. And this place is uh, notorious for being absolutely abysmal.
When you test the artifact, the outer shell just comes off and its contents expand. It seems it's a passageway that can transport objects to a specific location. If you can activate another artifact elsewhere, it will likely let the you transport between the two. Okay. I'm going. Oh. Interesting. Yeah. I think this guy was immune to. Gaston levels up! So Stephen Hawking commissions you to kill God. Yeah. Basically. Stephen's an interesting character because he's actually been in the series since, like, Megami Tensei. Well, this is just rude. You again, huh? A lot of EXP just for a single enemy, though. Horns of Ki- yeah, what the? I could use these to level up if I really want, but I'm not too concerned about it. Wait, Destiny Sphere, what is that? Stone that awakens hidden power, okay. Horns of Chaos. Is that a hat? Me, can you look up what the Horns of Chaos is? If you uh, are able, because I don't actually see anything there. Oh. We're in the first brain. This is, uh, quite complicated. Yeah, so I hear this place is, uh, notoriously awful. Are you all right? Just touch the model, if he says. Okay, I didn't see it in there, but... Sure, if they'd be weak to ice or fire, so I kind of just took a chance there. Yeah. That's some good EXP. Alright, we're gonna swap Asa here, I guess. Go to Toki because we didn't finish with her. And then we'll swap back to Asahi after that. Um. Thanks, Toki. 
Okay, so this is actually a very cool looking zone. Like, I love the design. Hey, Dermalek. How's it going, dude? Yeah, I see you reverse course there real quick. I appreciate that. Hey, back there, we're beating up, uh... <laughs> we're beating up, uh, Adremelech. Horns of Chaos. I don't see them in here. Oh, there they're the pants. What? Okay. Not bad. I did not expect them to be pants, but sure. Yeah, no, I appreciate it. I figured that. Mira. Sorry, I have to keep getting up, guys, but, uh, yeah, she, uh, she does not want to, uh, cooperate. Alright. Yeah. I was like, I'm pretty sure one of these guys is gonna be weak to that. Oh, he's resistant to it. But he's not resistant to this. Plus, I have awakened power now, so... That definitely makes it better. Aw, oh, shit. Fenrir leveled up. Okay. Uh, give me a sec, guys. We're gonna take a break. And then we got about 30 to an hour left to stream because uh, I did start late today, so we'll see. Uh, don't go anywhere, though. 